We had a couple new kits come out the other day and I have been really enjoying building with them. One of them is called the Everyday Clutter Kit and it's a bunch of like little clutter items like keys and dirty coffee mugs. And the other one is the Pastel Pop Kit and it's a bunch of like really, really cute bedroom furniture. I feel like both of these things are like right up my alley. So naturally I've been like really in the mood to build this weekend. And I ended up building a little family house. So I wanted to show you what I made. Now I must warn you, this one was a bit of a journey. You see, because I wasn't really worried about the exterior. I was so excited to furnish the inside using the new stuff that I kind of just like built whatever on the outside. The exterior was just simply not a priority for me. And I think that's understandable, okay? Usually it's the opposite. Usually I care way more about the outside, but this time I just wanted to clutter up the house. So I came into this kind of wanting to make a big house, like a house that had a lot of bedrooms and space for a lot of Sims. I was sort of picturing a big family. Originally I wanted like two grandpas to live here with one of their kids and like a bunch of the grandkids. Mostly I just wanted like a multi-generational big, big house. When I actually started furnishing, a little bit of that got thrown out the window because I had so much fun furnishing kids rooms that I didn't want to make a parents room. So there's just like a grandpa's room and then three kids bedrooms. And then I also put an office downstairs and in the backyard there's like a shed with a gym. I don't usually do a lot of sheds or a lot of home gyms. So that was kind of fun to add too, especially because the new kit has like some cute like gym clutter. It came with like a rolled up yoga mat and like this little basket that has some gym towels and like some weights and stuff. There's even a water bottle in the new kit. Everything about these like little clutter items is really speaking to me. I've been having a lot of fun trying to place them everywhere. I think in the end, I'm pretty sure I used every single item from the new kit, or at least almost. I was like really trying to put that clutter stuff everywhere in this house. Also, in this build, I only used the base game and those two new kits. I feel like when a new pack comes out, I always really try to build with just that pack for a second, just to kind of get a feel for what actually comes in it. Like really trying to use all of those new pastel pop things in different ways and different kinds of bedrooms really helps to get a feel for like, what items do we have? What swatches do they have? Like, how can I use these in different ways than intended? And can I just say, there are some really cute swatches on all of those items. But for now, I'm kind of working on the exterior here. And like I said, the exterior is kind of a flop. I'm not gonna lie. It, it's not my finest work. It also looks very similar to a build that you're gonna see on my channel tomorrow. I first built that house. I built like a six sim starter home kind of thing that looks a lot like this. It's like white siding with black windows. This one is yellow siding with brown windows, but I end up changing it back to black. I only did the yellow and brown thing because I wanted it to not look identical to the house that I had already built, but it, it's gonna look very similar to the house that I already built. In my defense, like a white house with black trim is, is very timeless, okay? There's a lot of white houses that exist in the world, and there's two white houses that I'm gonna post on my YouTube channel this weekend, and that's fine because this one is more about the interior, okay? <laughs> this one is about the bedrooms and the, the inside furnishings. So I get a pass on the, the bad outside. It's not even bad, it's just like embarrassing because I built two houses that look like this in a row. And it's especially embarrassing because I built this on stream last night and obviously I hadn't posted the other build yet. So everybody was like, oh, it's so cute. And then I'm gonna post like a second one tomorrow. So please, no judgment, okay? No judgment. I was pre-recording in case I lost power in the hurricane. So you can't say anything mean about it. Which, by the way, we did make it through the hurricane okay. This one was not so bad here where I live. Ian was a lot worse, the hurricane last month. Like, my grandma's entire condo was completely flooded out and destroyed. There was like four feet of standing water inside of her place. They had to completely gut the entire thing last month. So coming into this hurricane, I was a little bit um, anxious about it, as I'm sure you could probably imagine, but luckily we were all okay. My house, my parents' house, my grandma's house, all all right. I hope those of you also in Florida are all okay. It's been a scary season this year. We got these two hurricanes like back to back. To give you some context, I moved here into this house at the end of September. It's been a month since I moved in and there's been two hurricanes since I moved here. The other thing about just moving into this house is that I'm still kind of trying to figure out the lighting situation. Like it's currently very bright in here in the mornings. I have curtains, but like it's still extremely bright through, they're like sheer curtains. So I probably need to get like some blinds or something better because it just shines too bright on my face. The problem is also that I'm filming this at 7 a.m. If I wasn't recording this so early in the morning, it wouldn't be so bad, but like, I, you know, sometimes you want to wake up and record a speed build and, and the lighting's bad in your office. And what do you do? You just do it anyway. It's not terrible. It's just kind of uneven and it keeps changing. Like the sun will go behind a cloud and it'll get a little bit dimmer and then it'll come back outside of the cloud and I'll have a big light shining on my face. So it just, I need to do something about this, but I've only lived here for a month. So I'm, I'm still working on it. Okay. I'm recording this so early because I've got friends coming in town today. The first people I've ever had come stay are coming in like a few hours. In fact, my friend Hope, who does the closed captions on my YouTube videos is one of those friends. So thank you, Hope. I love you, Hope. And also if the captions are a bit slower on this video, it, it's because 
Prince Hope is in Florida. We always get them out like within like a day, but obviously sometimes, you know, things come up. So <laughs> I'm really excited about it though. I haven't seen them in a while, so it's gonna be really cool. And they certainly picked quite the time to come here. When I saw like the hurricane forecast and like this tropical storm building, I was like, this can't be happening. This can't be happening. But luckily it has passed before they're getting here because that would have been extremely unfortunate. Like the airport was closed yesterday, you know, so um, they lucked out that they're coming today and not yesterday because um, otherwise they wouldn't be here. Anyway, I'm actually starting to furnish the house now. So we're sort of going through all of the clutter and like trying to pick out what fits and what doesn't work. And don't worry, I did play test this kitchen, okay? I just wanna warn you that I'm about to place a lot of things in here, <laughs> but I did actually make sure it functions. I had a Sim come in here and test it and like try and cook something just to make sure because sometimes like when you put clutter on counters, I'm doing like the weird trick where the clutter is half on the counter. And sometimes that's okay and your Sim is smart enough to still use it. And other times they're not smart enough to still use it. So I just wanted to triple check. I really liked this. I put like some dirty mugs next to the kitchen sink and I ended up putting like some keys and a phone on the counter. It was kind of funny like building this on stream and then seeing people in chat react to the kind of clutter that I was placing and like where I was placing it. Because for example, I put that phone and the keys on the kitchen counter. I also put some by the front door and some upstairs by the dresser. But for example, growing up, my parents always left their phones and their keys like on the kitchen counter next to the coffee maker. So that's just normal to me. Like the keys are just on the counter. That's where they always have been. They always are there just on the counter. But then some people in my chat thought it was kind of weird, but obviously it kind of just depends like how your house is laid out and like what is most accessible to you. Like, so it makes sense in my parents' house to have the keys there, but maybe you've got like a, a different space that is closer to the door or whatever. But just that's so normal to me to have the keys on the counter like that. Now in this house, I come in through the back door, like kind of near where the laundry is and I've got a table there I keep my keys on, but that's just because it's most easily accessible where I enter the house most of the time. I also put a lot of glasses everywhere and that was like a weird thing they were commenting on. And I was sort of channeling my like grandma when I was making this house because my grandma has glasses everywhere. She'll have glasses like on her head, like on a necklace around her neck and on her eyes and just walk around with like three pairs. She's got them like in the kitchen and in her bedroom and by the kitchen table. She's just got like a pair of reading glasses literally everywhere in her house. So in this house, I put like some glasses by the bedside table and I put some glasses like in the office and one on the coffee table. I was sort of picturing like one of the Sims sitting in that chair by the coffee table and reading and then having their glasses sat right there. So I was just kind of putting them around. Obviously some people have like one pair of prescription glasses my grandma just goes to the store and buys like the, the reading glasses at CVS and then she just puts them everywhere. So that's kind of what I was trying to do. I also just kind of wanted to put clutter everywhere. Like I was just kind of looking for places to put things in this house. That was my entire goal. Oh my God, I just caught a glimpse of the light. This is terrible. I look terrible. If I scoot forward, is it better or? Oh no, this is, no, this is not good. I need to get some blinds. I feel like I shouldn't even record like this. <laughs> it looks really, really bad. It's okay. I don't normally film at 7 a.m. So most of the time it's gonna be fine. <laughs> Later in the day, it's okay. It's just now that's not okay. Anyway, this is the first bedroom that I'm doing in the house. This is like a teen's bedroom that I put downstairs. Obviously I wanted to use like everything from the pastel pop kit. And I kind of think I accomplished that. I actually layered the two rugs together. There's like a cow print rug and like a cookie rug. And I layered the two of them. I used like the tile table. There's a little tile nightstand and the tile like console table thing. And I used the console table like it was a pretend vanity and I put it like up against the window. I wanted to put a desk, but it was kind of small in here. Like it was kind of tight and I didn't think the desk really fit that well. So I used this one instead. And there's actually that little mirror, that kind of like makeup looking mirror that came with the clutter kit. And I feel like it fits really well there. And I'm pretty sure your Sims can use it. This room is also like very trans pride color. So I put a pride flag up and I really like this color scheme. I think this bedroom is my favorite in the entire house, but upstairs we've got two more kids rooms. There's like kind of a purple space themed room and there's like a strawberry pink and green kind of kids room as well. I'm telling you, this kit is just so good. It works for everything. I tried to use it in like three very different ways like this and I feel like it just turned out so well in all of them. I just realized I didn't actually use the new carpet that came with the kit. There's a new like actual carpet flooring in this pack, which honestly is much needed. We don't really have a lot of carpet options. We have like a couple base game ones and then like some kind of weird dine out ones that I wouldn't really use in a home setting, but it's like a really fuzzy like soft soft looking carpet. I didn't use it here. I think because I just sort of tend to not use carpet in my Sims builds. I kind of forgot about it. It just isn't one of those things that I think about very often. I guess because a lot of the carpet we have in the Sims so far isn't very good. So I just don't really think to use it. I do like that carpet, but I feel like I was trying to go for like older house. So I just kept hardwood throughout the whole place. And then of course,
this tile in the kitchen and bathrooms and stuff. One other thing that I did in this house that I'm kind of proud of myself for is like actually try in the bathrooms, which I know sounds really bad. Oh my god, you can't even see me. I'm, I'm just gone. <laughs> Don't look at my face, okay? I need to put my hair back. We, got, we can't have it behind our ears. <laughs> we need some like something to block the sun. If I didn't have friends coming over soon, I would re-record this, but it's too late. It's fine. Anyway, the bathrooms. I actually tried in the bathrooms, and I tried to make all of them look kind of different. I feel like a lot of the time in my Sims builds, I make like one bathroom, and then I just sort of copy that vibe through all the rest of them. And that's pretty realistic too. I think a lot of times when a house is being built, they'll just put like the same tile, same counter, same cabinets in all the bathrooms. Obviously, it's cheaper that way than to have like special individual bathrooms, so it happens a lot. But I pictured this house maybe being like slowly renovated over time. So maybe like the primary bathroom got renovated first and then the downstairs bathroom, but they haven't done the kids bathroom yet, so they're all kind of different. So they've all got different tile and like different color schemes, which again, I don't usually do, but it was kind of fun to do in this one, especially because there's like some sort of new swatches, which I don't normally do, but it was fun to do in this one because there's kind of some cute new stuff that we can add to. I even put like dirty clothes on the floor and like bathrobes on the back of the door. That's actually kind of a fun tip. There's a bathrobe item in the base game that I use sometimes and I'll put it like on the back of the bathroom door, which you would think is a bad idea because like, is your sim gonna walk through that? They actually do walk through that. So if you want to, you can totally place the bathrobe like on the door. It doesn't actually slot there without move objects, but you can put it there and your sims will walk through it. Of course, in the game, they're gonna like literally walk through it. So you'll see them like walking through the bathrobe, but I don't really care about that. I like how it looks. So I'm not that worried about like a weird visual sort of issue. Sims do all kinds of weird things. What's like walking through a bathrobe once, you know? So this bedroom here is the one that I was kind of trying to be like space themed a little bit. I don't think that I really achieved that very well, but the bed that I used, like the bottom bed, kind of gives like galaxy vibes to me. So that's what the inspiration came from. This one is like a shared bedroom for two kids. So in this house, you could fit four kids and like maybe the two grandparents, so six Sims total. I also tried to have like gamer stuff in here. I was thinking like space and gamers when I made this room. So I put like a gaming computer and stuff like that. If I was using other packs, there would have been a lot of cute decor that I could have used. But of course I was trying to just do the base game and the new kits. So I was a little bit limited. Like I would have used that high school packs gaming PC with the giant like ultra wide monitor, you know, <laughs> but I, I didn't end up using that on this one. Also, these kids got really lucky. These kids have their own balcony. When I was originally building the house, I was picturing like the primary bedroom being the parents room and then this bedroom being the grandparents room and the grandparents could have like the balcony and stuff, but then I um, I, I eliminated the parents. <laughs> I decided they didn't exist in my head anymore, so um, we don't have a parents room. We do have the room belonging to the grandpas though, and I will say this room is, it's a little bit weird, okay, because I used the cookie rug, but I sized it up and tried to make it look like it's not a cookie rug, and this is kind of a weird color scheme too, because it's like the red bed with the yellow rug and like the yellow dresser thing, and then it has blue walls. It's like kind of primary colors, like it's dark and like kind of deep, rich colors. This is not exactly my personal taste, although I probably also wouldn't hang up a fishing rod above my bed, so that's not really my personal taste either. But I sort of imagined in the living space of this home, like the downstairs and like the hallway and this grandparents' room, that maybe the grandparents aren't that fashionable. <laughs> like maybe their, their style isn't very good, and so they have like maybe kind of weird or maybe just like outdated taste. Like that was kind of what I was trying to visualize. It's not even weird or outdated. It's just not like super updated and like trendy inside. I think it's a very just like normal looking family home. And that's kind of what I was envisioning in here. Would I live in that room? No. But would these Sims that don't actually exist? Yeah. I, I didn't actually make the Sims. <laughs> I just like envisioned Sims in my head and like pretended that they existed with this one. So um, there isn't like Sims to download off the gallery or anything. They they're not real. Um, it's all just in my little brain. But we finished the main building of the house and we're moving back onto the outside now and I'm making that shed that I talked about. This is where the gym is going to go. I wasn't really super sure how I wanted to do the shed like this. It's kind of different than what I normally do. And also the house has kind of tall walls. It's got medium wall height downstairs, which means the shed had medium wall height, which I didn't really love. I think it ends up looking okay. And then in there, I just put like a treadmill and some weights and stuff. It's not really a huge space. I 
I do like the idea of this sort of thing though, because in The Sims, there's so many items that you might need for skill building and stuff, but it's just kind of hard to like fit into your house. I'll do a lot of like, oh, putting the woodworking table on like the back porch or, you know, putting the microscope on the side yard because it's just so big. Like where, where does it fit? But maybe you need to have like a cupcake machine. You could put that in here or, or whatever. <laughs> I also use this for like some random storage. I figured that in real life, they'd probably have like some boxes of like, I don't know, sentimental items or, you know, just extra storage in here. Maybe like the Christmas decorations. So in that corner, I kind of like shoved some boxes. If I was using seasons, I definitely would have put like the seasons decor box there and stuff. For a game that doesn't have cars, we really need garages. We really need the ability to make like real garages in this game. I do a lot of like fake garages, but I would love to have like a real garage door that like opens from the top, you know? <sighs> Maybe someday. But anyway, the house is done now. I wanna pop into the game and show you like a proper tour. There's a couple things that I cut out from the speed build so I can show you them here. For example, I repainted the house. I made it white and black instead. And I just think it looks so much better like this. I mean, honestly, this is like significantly improved in my opinion. And this is that starter home that I'm gonna post tomorrow. Look, I'm not accepting judgment at this time, okay? I realize they're very similar vibes. Just in the color scheme, this house is a lot bigger, okay? But here is it from the front. I tried to put like a little fence around the front yard. I would have liked to use like a picket fence or something, but obviously it's it's just the base game. So I tried to make this one work. I also put like some gnomes in the mailbox and there's like a little brick path up to the front yard. In the front, there's like a nice little porch and a second floor balcony. In the back, we have that shed that I built. This shed just has like a mirror and I tried to put it over here with some space in front of it in case your Sims wanted to do like yoga or like dance or something. And then we have the treadmill, we have the weights, we have the like little stuff in the corner. There's some really good clutter. Obviously, that clutter kit has some really nice stuff like these little decor items but this thing is really cool this is actually a radio it's kind of like a sneaky one because it's sort of disguised as like a bookshelf pencil holder thing but these little boom blocks as the game is calling them actually play music i mean it just functions like one of these items but it's smaller and like easier to fit into your decor we also have like a hose and a garden and like some kids play equipment there's like a grill and a little table back here i feel like this backyard filled in really nicely and then on the inside when you first walk into the house. It's kind of got like a main open kitchen living dining area. By the front door right here, I put like the little key rack and some shoes and a coat rack. We have this little table with like some books and your keys and things. I feel like this is super realistic, like to come in and just drop your shoes and your coat and your keys. And then we have like a main dining space right here. And then all the way in the back is the kitchen. There's something about these dirty mugs that I just really, really like. They've got a bunch of good swatches too. Like there's some kind of cute ones that aren't dirty, but I figured like dirty mugs by the sink made perfect sense. Over over here we have like the living room and I placed these little items like one of the Sims was maybe sitting there and like enjoying a cup of tea while reading their magazines. We have like a chess table. I even put a couple like kids items like some toys down here like the kids were playing. And then through this hallway we have the office. I tried to make it like very dark in here. Lots of wood. I love this. This table actually has a little coffee stain right there. I don't know if you can see it but there's like a coffee ring on the table. And so I put the coffee mug item right there next to it and like some glasses and sticky notes. I sort of picture that one of the Sims here liked fishing. So they have a fish bowl and the fish has been saving up. So it's got some coins right here. There's just like a bookcase and a clock and stuff. This is the first bathroom. I tried to put a lot of cute little items. I kind of figured that the teen would use this bathroom primarily. And then of course, like any Sims downstairs. So they have like their makeup and stuff in here. This one is my favorite bedroom. It's that pink and blue teens room I was talking about. I just love this. I think it's so cute. I think especially this little vanity table with like the backpack and stuff. I don't know. I just, I really like this color scheme. And then upstairs, there's a little hallway. It's got a chess table, nothing fancy. Over here is the um, kind of weird cookie rug grandparents room. I put some like fish in here and stuff. They have their dresser. Dresser has like some glasses and a watch. It's got the keys and things. And then they have a little ensuite bathroom. It's not anything fancy, but it's got some orange accents, which is new for me. I don't really do that. Oh my God, the lighting is terrible. Okay, so this bedroom is that space bedroom. Space, gamer, you know, whatever. But, but I have a little desk right here with some clutter on it. They have a little cork board with some postcards. We have the two bunk beds. They've got some toys and things kind of around here. This is that kid's bedroom upstairs that has like kind of a pink and blue color scheme as well, actually. This one just seems so realistic and like super cozy to me. And then this is the last kid's bedroom. It kind of has like a green and pink strawberry theme. Strawberries and sports is kind of what I was going for. They have like some sports clutter. They have their own desk and a cute computer. I seriously had so much fun building this house. I feel like these two packs fit in so nicely to my like 
usual build style, and it was kind of fun to try and use them in so many different ways. Like to do a few themed kids rooms, and then more of a traditional style, and like a home gym. I just feel like this stuff fits in really well to a lot of things. I made a video yesterday building an apartment with the new kit, and I also made a video going over all of the items that come in the kit, so I can link those down below for you. And if you like Sims videos, I do make a lot of them, so feel free to subscribe. You don't want to miss the video coming out tomorrow, because it's gonna look just like this one, just worse, <laughs> because it's cheaper than to start her home. And with that, I will stop talking at you, and I'm gonna end this video right here. Thank you so much for watching and putting up with my weird lighting today. <laughs> I'm so sorry I filmed this so early in the morning. I learned my lesson. I won't do it again. And I'm gonna catch you all tomorrow, okay? Bye, everybody. I am very silly. I took way too long to film this, and now I have to stream in 13 minutes. And the lighting is still doing this. Oh my god, I really need to buy some blinds.